Welcome to the COP TV, the voice of football's most famous stand. Hello and welcome back to the COP TV. It's myself, AGT, and the man, Bing. the myth, the legend. Well, he's not a, a myth. You are a legend, though. And he's sitting next to me. It's Doyle. Oh, sorry, mate. Yeah, that was embarrassing. Oh, uh, well. Yeah, I'm all right, me, lads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sam Gilly. Thanks for asking, lad. Thanks Good. for asking how I am. I also... Um, I've enjoyed the month's football, which we're going to get into in a moment. Of course, this is so, the yeah. monthly review. We did one last month in August. That was a six, I think, we yeah. agreed on in the end. Yeah. Uh, it's been a better month. Before we get into that and dissect every game, we've got this bad boy, the green screen behind us today. So we're going to be like the weathermen. We're going to be pointing here. Boom, a picture will pop up. So big up Dave on the edit. Um, but before we get into it as well, this one did really well for comments last time. So please get your comments in. We'll reply to them personally in the first couple of hours. Uh, like the video as well. And of course, if you haven't, go and follow Doyle and subscribe to the Cop TV as well. If you haven't, we've got loads coming up. Loads. Got, uh, the Man City game on Sunday. Yep. I'll be uh, here with uh, Rob, Robbie. Here. Yeah, I'll be here with Robbie doing the streams. Catch me uh, every week watching the Liverpool games. We don't actually, the because Cop when TV. he's doing that, I'm doing a watch along. So oh yeah, yeah. So you've got you've that. got plenty of choice. Essentially, is what we're saying. As much as much content as you want, it's going to be delivered. Let's say this table is the YouTube game. Yeah, <laughs> this is butter. The cop TV is just spreading across right now. All over the so place. Bud. Whatever channel you go on, normally James Redwood will be on, Ruby will be on, you'll be on, I'll be on. We, we're repping, aren't we? You so will see our faces dotted the boat. If you like it or not. So get used to it. Um, love it. Right. Let's get into this then. The first game. Bang. Leeds, nil, Liverpool, three. This was the 12th of September. Um, I remember watching this game. Uh, it was a very, very emotionally driven game. Great because we won the game. Yeah. But of course, this is the Harvey Elliott game, isn't it? Yeah. And it was the first game of the month. Uh, I'll read all the scores out and then we'll get into them. Actually, we'll do it game by game. Yeah, game so, by game. So, uh, Leeds, nil, Liverpool, three. What a way to start the month. I say start it. This was an international break. So this was the 12th day of the month. Yeah, but them in some hard, breaks, hard man. place to go, Ellen Road. But is there a sour taste in your mouth with Leeds after that Harvey Elliott incident? 100%, lad. He was the anomaly in our He was the unknown entity in our team going forward in the season. He was the one that no one really knew how to play against yet because he's new. And he was a great player as well. So it was a bit of a sour taste in my mouth. So I've been seeing that. It wasn't on purpose or anything. I think it was just crap to see him go out. The performance, however, was fantastic. Well, I mean, won more that I don't know, like, no disrespect to Leeds fans or anything, but that day, with the amount of space that Thiago had in our midfield had in that game was ridiculous. We got to play some of our best footy just because they just let them. Just let Thiago do what he wanted. And he was pulling strings left, right and mm. centre, lad. That was a game where it highlighted to me that Liverpool are therefore, therefore, up for this, like, yeah. we're, like we're not yeah. gonna back down this season. This Chelsea, City, Man United, Liverpool too, lads. Yeah, where are you? And that game proper showed me. Like you're playing against a team like Leeds, who are a fantastic attacking side. Nullified them. Didn't get nothing on. We were right. fantastic, lads. I feel like performance-wise, a three-nil away win, clean sheet. You have to give that a nine. Was that our first away game? Uh, no, we played away at Norwich and won oh, okay, 3 yeah, as well. Yeah. But we won't count that because... No, that was last month. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a great win. Performance-wise, a nine. The injury maybe yeah, takes it, it down, down a little bit. Does, but no, that was a great start to the month and a real statement. Obviously, we still hope Parviel it gets better. Yeah. Let's jump on then. Three days after in September, we played AC Milan. <sighs> I watched this game with you. This was actually your birthday, wasn't it? This was. I will remember this game forever, simply because it was on my birthday and the quality of the football that was played on that day from, I would say both teams, for AC Milan for 10 minutes and us for the rest of the game. Yeah, it was insane. Much. It really was. Like, that was a dream And we fixture. watched it together in my yeah, flat. It was beautiful, you know I mean? wasn't it? We had, we had a little bit of a drink. We had a P little Mac bit. was there. Yeah, me, one, me best mate, P Mac, was there repping with us. It was just one of them type of performances <laughs> that was a Champions League Liverpool night. It was the cliche, they've got to fight back and come back and win. And we did it. And it was beautiful. That mm. Hendo goal when that went in. I'm real, man. What's a strike. Yeah, if you haven't insane. seen the, uh, our reactions to that goal, you can go on the Instagram or YouTube and you just see Doyle and P-Mac and me all going mad. They, they do well, those, those clips of us reacting to the goal. I mean, we were going pretty crazy yeah. there. 
pretty mad. And then you stayed in Liverpool. Yeah. For the next game on the 18th, there was uh, three games in six days. Lovely. Uh, which is obviously very tightly scheduled. But then again, we have another international break after the Man City game on Sunday. So players will get the rest. But a great again. And, and this was the game that James did the fan cams for. We beat Crystal Palace 3-0. Um, Dave hopefully got that. Um, I wasn't there for this. This was the first Liverpool game that I missed, I think, on TV or live in, I can't remember, bro, maybe 15 years. Yeah, it I was, was working away, but yeah, what a result that was. It was a great result. Good especially. team as well. Palace have been doing well. They've got that Gallagher, they've got that Edward who's been doing well. They've got Zaha, obviously. They've got a strong little unit of a team now. Are you? Yeah, they're doing all right, lads. So for us to come back, come and do a 3 0 against them was fantastic. Also, the Naby Keita goal at the end, that was insane. That was possibly I think one that's of the goals in the season. Him, if I'm honest. Yeah, it might goal. have. He just went, you know what? Not Best good. goal I'm going to score months. in my life. Just chill now, won't it? Just went to clap. Is that all right, lad? Yeah? Is that all right? I'm getting off now, lad. Yeah? So you Honestly, mate. He's but, injured again. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know what to say about this man, lad. He's refusing contract talks and he never plays football. I'm not saying that you're not a good footballer because you're a fantastic footballer. We all know this. But it's just a consistency. You were saying this in the, the old WhatsApp group the other day, weren't you? It's how great. you can, um, you know, did not, or how you could not demand more money, but basically refusing talks. Apparently, that's what it is. That's silly to me when because. You, when you can't string four games together, like we, we're not going to give you a new contract if you can't string four games together. Just it's out of feasibility. It's not feasible to us to pay you money to do a job that you are not going to do. It's not about ability. You have the you're a fantastic football Amazing, player. That's though, why you come to Liverpool FC because you were fantastic, and you'll be able to go somewhere else based on your ability too. But it'll be the same story. You won't get game time if you don't play because there'll be other players that will come in. And that's just the way it is. So I was a little bit disappointed to see that he didn't want to sign another contract. But also, as a professional, I can see what he's what he what angle he's coming at. He wants to play games, right? Good on you, lad. Good mm. on you. But if you can string a few games together, there's no reason why you can't play for Liverpool. So we just got to see what he can do in the season. And already, the poor fella's injured. So what well, can we do, lads? In his place, Curtis Jones has kind of stepped up. He's been fantastic um, as well. He came on in that game, uh, and Curtis Jones for me. I mean, I actually dug up the stats that compared Curtis Jones at this age now to what Steven Gerrard was at this age now. I'm going to get them up now because it's interesting to see. I thought it would be a lot closer, to be honest with you. Um, but I do have the stats here. So um, at the age of 21, Curtis Jones has played 32 games for Liverpool. He started 15, three goals and two assists, which I actually think he scored more than three, so I would honest. have thought that as well. Seems to have a I massive influence on games. Three. Lincoln away, Shrewsbury away. Everton. Everton. I think the goals that he scored have been quite big goals. But I think it's more than three. Anyway, Gerard, at the same age, played 74, started 59, eight goals, five assists. So it's not, he's not leaps and bounds at like. But I, I think Curtis Jones has got more goals than that. Um, but this is from the actual Premier League. Um, and I'm speaking about that tomorrow. So... Curtis Jones for me has been, and we've been saying it on the last monthly review. Do you remember we spoke about him and we said yeah, we'd we love to see him play yeah. more? Now yeah. he is. Hopefully he can stay in the team. We actually said to me that Harvey Elliott seems to have nudged him out of the team, yeah. which we were a little bit disappointed about. Not because Harvey's that, and just because we're a scouser. Well, I'm a scouser lad. I want to well, see Curtis Jones. One and, and a half scousers here. <laughs> yeah, because we're one and a half scousers. Yeah, uh, we want to see Curtis. We want to see Curtis start. Yeah. Simple as that. But. Harvey Elliott was keeping him out of the team, rightly so, because he was playing fantastic. So to say, uh, it's a bit of a, it's one of them, isn't it? Catch 22. No one, yeah, no one wants to see Harvey Elliott so that it, it, it go down, so that Curtis can, you know, play. But that's the situation that's happened. So I'm grateful that we've got somebody like Curtis who doesn't get injured and just comes yeah. in and plays football and he's really good at it as well, lad. So, You're not wrong, yeah. And when, you, and when we're talking about Gerard and Curtis, different age of football, like, for me, Liverpool football players, and I'm not just talking about players that have played for Liverpool, I mean scousers that have come out of Liverpool playing football, they've never been technically gifted. They've always been strong and powerful and been able to burst Whereas, in midfields. Curtis, Curtis Jones is. Yeah, he's one of the first scousers that I've seen that's unbelievably technical. He can do both feet, he can go in any direction, he can go into tight spaces and get and out of it. It's the roles, it's yeah. the little roles. And the, I think we were playing, who was it we were playing away? Uh, it was Brentford. And you know that roll, I like to do it, where you've, your studs are on the ball and you roll that way and then cut yeah. it and go back go, the other way. It's a V, way. lad, so you it's go like in, bang, V, bang. yeah, it's a V. Um, yeah, and I saw him doing that. And like you said, step over small spaces, he can get out, 
very technical yeah. to the point where if you are going to compare Naby and Curtis for that maybe fourth choice position, they're probably both the same technical level because even Naby, you've seen him run up to players, do a little step over, drop the shoulder and he's gone. Yeah. He's very good as well. Naby. Yeah. Like, technically, it's just, can he stay injury free? Let's say Curtis plays the next 10 games unbelievably. Who knows it? Maybe Naby could leave in January. And that's that's not because he's not a good footballer. We're, like, we're not disrespecting this player because we think he's fantastic. We just want to see him start for 10 games, really. And yeah. that's what you do get out of Fabinho and that's what you do get out of Hendo and that's what you do get out of Curtis, essentially. And I, I think it would have been pretty much the same for Harvey Elliott as well. It, they will start games. It's just that we've got a few midfielders in our, in our team right now that are dotted about that get injured quite frequently, like Hawks and... Kaita, so yeah. both fantastic footballers. I just want to see some kids be on the pitch. I just want yeah. to see you on the pitch for longer. The next game, uh, bang! Norwich nil, Liverpool three for the second time already this season. I mean, uh, this was the third round of the EFL Cup. Uh, the goals were Takumi Minamino on the fourth and eightieth minute, and Origi on the fiftieth. And if I in this game I was to choose two players who I wanted to score, just purely for confidence momentum, more goals from outside our normal top three, it would have been them two players. That makes Because Origi's been a bit of a castaway, really. He's come in now and scored and, and taken the chance. And, and Minamino's got two. He also played brilliantly in the AC Milan game, Origi. I was yeah. so impressed with that kid when he played. Did you see the ball that he did to Mo Salah's second yeah. goal? That was fantastic, yeah. lad. Technically, Sick. execution, vision, everything about it was amazing. So, yeah, I agree with you there, lad. Yeah, big win that. And I think if we are going to... I've said that this at the start of the season. Three nils all year, I want to win the League Cup or FA Cup this season. I want to win... I really do. Right. Obviously, the Premier League Champions League, I want them as well. But if we could win a domestic cup, because we haven't yeah. since 2012, the time before that was 06. Like, as Liverpool Football Club, every two or three years, you need to be putting one in the bank I of a League Cup that. or an yeah. FA Cup. Even if people don't respect them as much as they should... When you've got a club like ours, you, you should be winning domestic trophies. What's well, how we've been the most successful team in England is by winning these major trophies. You heard me. And so, yeah, I think I agree with you. League Cup, FA Cup, them type of things need to be gone for. We, we need to go for it. Because like when we were kids, if you look at um, 01 FA Cup, yeah. League Cup, 03 League Cup, 05 FA Cup, uh, sorry, 06 FA Cup, 05, we got to the finals, the League Cup. We have been you know. to the League Cup final. The, uh, was it the League Cup Leeds, final? Uh, sorry, Man City, City in the final. Yeah, yeah, Moreno, and they, 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 let's be honest, like, the reality is City are, at the moment, the dominant force. They've in, won it four years in a row. Yeah, they? They, they are fantastic in them Cups. And I think yeah, that's... they get easy draws, mate. They do, in a, so, lot of, in a lot of things, except for this Champions League draw, which is nice. Who have we got in the next round for the League Cup? Preston. Uh, yeah, so someone like Preston that, yeah. in that round four. So that's pretty easy for us. Well, it should be easy on paper. So if we get through to that as round five, and then you start thinking, actually, quarterfinal, semi-final, and, and winning it. But, um, yeah, really happy with that performance. Cade three nil, played by the way. as well. 3-0, three 3-0, nil. Three nil, three nil, three nil. Well, this is the thing. In September, in every single game in September, bro, we scored at least three in that's every game. That's fantastic. And is one what of them I'm we scored about. five. That's right, and that's with Mo Salah, Mane, Bobby and Jota, yeah. Them four are still firing on all cylinders, all 100%. of them. People are backing us, not backing us to, to do things this season, but with them four on our team, you cannot stop some progression, you can't. It's yeah. just down to our defence now. Liverpool are a very potent team, very, we are, we're potent, we're strong, we think we have a strong attacking force and we'll score goals. So it's down to our defensive um, tactics now because I think we're being exploited tactically in certain areas of the defence. Mm -hmm which yeah, is costing us these fair. goals. So if you look at the Brentford game, the overload on Trent, that was just, yeah, we'll talk about it in a second, like, but the overload on Trent was just ridiculous. Yeah. That poor kid had to deal with three grown fellas all hugging him and jumping all over yeah. him. And he's can't do it again against three people, lads. What's he supposed to do? So yeah, three in that game. The next game last Saturday, Brentford three, Liverpool three. I think this is, yeah, Bosch, there it is. I think this is not as bad as people think it is definitely not I can't wait to see City Chelsea United go there uh, Tottenham Ars I can't wait to Arsenal see you go there already. yeah there you go I can't wait to see you go to that ground and think that you're just going to steamroll over them because you're not they're going to be like the Sheffield of two years ago where you go to their ground yeah. and you're not getting an easy win in fact you might not even get a win you might get beat 
because that's what type of team this is. This is a proper football team, this, and they've done things the right way to get here. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see them play. Can't wait, lad. And this will start looking better and better and better throughout the season. I bet you, bet you it will. Brentford, Ivan Tony. Hey. Yes, you saw him having a word that with kid. Jurgen Klopp after the game, or maybe it was Klopp having a word with him. Hey. But he put on his Instagram after, it's a dream to play against his boyhood club. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. We could do with someone like him. I mean, I've got, my mate is the uh, social media manager at Peterborough. So he went from Newcastle, left there because they didn't rate him, went to Peterborough, scored mad goals, went to Brentford from Peterborough. And now, surely, next season, he'll be playing for one of the big six. I can't see him staying at Brentford for much longer. And that's not disrespectful no, to Brentford. It's not, but they know. It's score, testament. They? Yeah, and they've done that Come before. On, they've done how many players have they sold? I think I was talking about them last year. Ben Rame. Yeah, got um, money for him. Ollie Watkins. Do you know what they're doing? More pay. Yeah, more pay. Like, do you know what they're doing business wise? They'll find someone else that they'll just replace him with. They know that that uh, Ivan Tony they right could now. They get how much for him? 50 mil, 60 mil. You reckon? Yeah. How old is he? I think he's at 24, 25. 50 mil, 60 mil. Yeah, Lad, he's a big star. Would you pay boy. that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You think he's that good? I, from what I've seen in that game and the, the fact that he's been the top goal contributor in the last 12 months in every single league in the world, that's, he, he, that's him. Not in the um, world, but the ones he's been. Yeah, the ones he's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not but you the know. Norwegian under 15. Yes, but. And it, not them, but. Yeah. But you know, um, <laughs> yeah, he's, he was fantastic against Liverpool and he absolutely. Blew me mind to be honest. Then everyone was like, Tony, Tony's that good. I've got him in my fantasy team and everything because he's good. But I didn't think he was going to be well. that good and he's powerful and strong and got a dribble and whatever else. Do you know what he reminds me of a little bit? Like a young Sturridge in a way, but I maybe get right that, I get that. I really do actually. I think, yeah, I can see that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do, lad. You know, Sturridge in the like Bolton days. And he had bags of space, bags Just, of dribbling, and, and bags of shots. Could, yeah. Yeah. I think the Bolton, you remember he was at Bolton on loan from Chelsea? Yeah. Yeah, I think Sturridge and Ivan Tony. Maybe Sturridge should have a word with him. Mm, so go ahead, stodgy you know. lads, you know, red or dead. If he did come, I wouldn't want him to become another Danny Ings where oh, that'd be he hard gets little scraps. But I think if Tony was going to come, you'd see Origi leave. Yeah. But I do think Klopp's got his eye on him for the next uh, next window. And also he wants to, not that he wants to play for us, but if he did get the opportunity... He would never say no. Yeah. And if he did say no, he'd hate himself. Yeah, him. because he's got, yeah. He, he loves Liverpool, yeah. so... Uh, right, last night... Uh, sorry, the night before last, we beat Porto again. Yeah, at so, annual smoking of the Porto. The Estadio do Dragao in Porto, we have scored 14 goals in the last three visits. Yeah, 14. Four of those have come from Firmino, four of those have come from Salah, and four of those have come from Mane, <laughs> and one has come from Virgil van Dijk. Hey, how safe is that, lad? One was an own goal. I hey, think. that top three is just... They must hate us coming. Yeah. Every year, they're like, oh, oh, oh puta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They, it is, it's an annual smoking for them. It's yeah. no disrespect to them because last season, it's like fireworks. Who, who did they play against last season? And they pull up a proper fight against them. Lad. Uh, was it Chelsea City. or Ch City or Chelsea or it someone? Was City or Chelsea or PSG? Like, it was ridiculous how I compared them to when we yeah. played them to that team, and I was like, these they are just, good, they just these are better. It. I think there's man game. It's not man it. games. I think they've got a thing against Liverpool where they're a bogey team in the Champions League. But we played them in 07, 08 and Dirk Cowart scored a, a one 0 away goal. Pennant got sent off that game. Pennant. And then on the home leg, we beat them 4-1, I think. Torres scored a couple, Gerard Penn. We've just got that, no? But, but we just, lost. yeah. And that's six points out of six now in no the Champions League. No disrespect to Porto. Atletico have four points. We are playing them next in... What was the score in the last remember? game with them? They beat us 3-2, mate. No, no, they beat them. Fucking... Oh, uh, they won 2-1. Did they? Suarez scored last minute penalty. No way. Minute. I was gutted. No Griezmann way. Griezmann scored 84th minute to equalise. Heavy. Madness. So, listen... Flying in the Champions League, still the only English team to be unbeaten in the Champions League, still the only unbeaten club in the in Premier, Premier League. League as well, yeah. So that begs the question, last month you're saying it was a six, six and a half out of ten. What do you rate September out of ten? Nine. Nine? Nine. Not ten? Because of the draw against Brentford? Yeah, but yeah. even so, it's, it would have been a, a seven. Maybe a bro. Uh, it, that's what I was about to say, it would have been a seven or an eight if it wasn't a draw. And we, uh, oh. You mean a 10? If, if they didn't play so well, if Brentford right. didn't play so well, it would have been a 10. Yeah. And, it, and it would have been lower as well for the draw. But they played well. They played amazingly well, actually. And um, they took us to the... Mate, they took us, made us uh, run for our money. Yeah, so, you know. so out of 10, you're giving nine. it a 9. Solid 9, lads. I think I'm made up. Fantastic, famous Let victories at Anfield. what you think this month is out of 10. Uh, I'm going to go with a 9.3. 
which makes the average a 9.15 out of 10. Fantastic. Very precise. We work in decimals here on the COP TV. So let us know in the comments, do you agree or disagree with that? It has been a great month. The Oden Klopp nominated for Manager of the Month. As How many well. goals? Five, Porto. Three at Brentford. Eight. eight three at... Eleven. Uh, Norwich, 14. 17. 20. 20 goals, 20 goals, goals in a month. In five games? Yeah. That's... A. Average is four a game. A. One, two, what's three, not to be four, happy about that? I know, six. Six. Six games. Still, so, what's yeah. not to be happy about that? 20 goals in six games. That's fantastic. Unbelievable. If we carry on like this... You can't get many better months. Basically. No, you can't, mate. 9.15 out of 10. Let us know if you agree. Let's quickly, before we go, look ahead to the Man City game on Sunday. This game, I feel, is one that we can be more confident going into. I do think their European slip-up against uh, PSG. PSG is going to hurt them. And they haven't won at Anfield with fans in the stadium since 2003. They won last year. I'm not really counting that. Alisson made two mistakes. Yeah, there were no also, fans. It was one of them where we just... We were, yeah. yeah. Um, but what's the score prediction for that one? I love watching Liverpool City. It's always a fantastic game of football. Um, it, like, it really is. I've been to a few of them in the ground as well. And all, the atmosphere is always good as well. Um, I don't want to put a, a solid mark on this. No, you have to. It's terrifying against playing in the city. It's an Anfield, so I'm going to back my team always. I'll always back us to win no matter what game and where we're playing. So I'm going to say 2-1 Liverpool. 2-1? Yeah. I think this could really be a turning point in the season if we win and win convincingly. If we can win that 3-0, we automatically there become the favourites, which scares me a little bit because I like going under the radar. I think that's what we've enjoyed, actually. But... Let us know uh, what you think the score is going to be on Sunday. We'll be outside the ground uh, doing the fan cams for the COP TV as well. So make sure you are watching those. Doyle, thank you very much, my brother. 9.15 out of 10. Like the comments. Like the comments. Like the video. Comment. Please. Subscribe if you can. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, yeah. <laughs> right. Like the comments. Take care. Please, the guys. Best. The voice of football is my friend's dad.